Right, back on again. Just past some people with a couple of dogs. They were just resting. Um, so I'm skirting the hill fort. I'm going through a place called Dolbury Warren. Uh, where the, the other side of the fence there, there's a track with steps that lead you up. Uh, what I call the secret steps to the hill fort. Which I discovered last year. Uh, we're not going near them. We're just sort of... Um, Reminding people who might follow my videos of roughly the area I am now. The last time I visited the hill fort, I parked, I parked Alberta near the pub at uh, near Churchill, and then I walked across the main A38 to join up with them. Um, the start of like the, the row barrow walk if you like uh, and heading up went walk through this little hamlet and then headed up to um, the hill fort and I went across the hill fort down the other side <sighs> picked up a came came down the other side there and then picked up the track back there where those people are a junction then walked back towards Barrington Coombe views uh, and then, well, in the end, I did end up walking across the top of the area of Outstanding Beauty towards the trig point, down the other side towards the wireless masts, and then down to Velvet Bottom, all across to Skirting Longwood, up through Long Sheepfield, uh, passing by, going all the way up, uh, not going to Piney Slights, but heading up towards the... Um, Tynan's stables, so then skirting through Roberry Warren by the stream, um, and basically ending up where I started. Um, so that was a big circular walk. It was this probably as nearly as big as what I'm doing today. Um, it will be there about the same. Um, but in different direction. Uh, and not um, instead of having Alberta at uh, the Roborough Churchill area, I, um, I have parked her at, uh, I've parked her at, um, Cheddar. Yeah, see, there's a path goes up that way, but I'm, we're not going to take that one. No. I'm not sh quite sure if that will skirt round. It looks a nice little route, actually. It would be better on the feet. But I'm not sure where it goes. So I'm not going to follow it. But it probably does skirt round. And it won't be so, it won't be so bumpy as this one. I can't remember now. I'm not going to take any diversions. Even if it means keeping on this bumpy one. So in there, we've got all parts of Dolbury Warren in there. Um... To the left of me, we got Row Barrow Warren with all the big fern trees. Once, of course, as we know, a mining area. Dead mining was popular over everywhere here. And some of the type of mining as well. I can't remember what the name of it is now, but some. Um, yeah. Yeah, I'll be doing more exploring of Row Barrow Warren Woods. Um, in the in the in the autumn and winter months, I do sort of more smaller walks than they are. They're still quite big, but they're nothing like what I'm doing today. Nothing. This is what you call a big walk today. I think there is that track there. Is the one I could have walked up past these trees. And gone all the way along and then ended up near the stream. There's an alternative way. Um, but in case I need to get stop for water, I've decided not, not to do that particular walk today. I haven't done this one going in this direction for a while either. So it, it always looks different when you've... Um, it always looks different when you do it in the reverse, doesn't it? You know, it always looks different. Yeah, 
It is, it is very warm, by the way. I'm really glad I got my hat on. And like I said, I'm not going to be doing any videos. But I have. Can't help it. I'm addicted. Oh, it's beautiful though, isn't it? Beautiful. Yeah, look. I reckon I would have come out. That probably would have weaved in and out and let me come round a different way, look. Not to worry. This is alright. It's a bit bumpy, but... Right over and out, everyone.